Hey everybody, Madrybred here, and welcome to some co-op Hearts of Iron 4 with Aldrahill. Hello. Uh, we're playing as Greece and Turkey. I'm going to be Greece and he's going to be Turkey. And we're going to go fascist and, uh, I guess, conquer the world in pre-World War II Earth. I almost said Europe. <laughs> we're going. I mean, we're going everywhere. You gotta go Why everywhere. Not? You gotta get Australia and everything. Yeah, even Australia, and that is in Earth. Um, so, for anyone who is uninitiated to the Hearts of Iron series, this is kind of like, this is Paradox's grand strategy series for the kind of world wars with World War II. We start off in 1936 in the build-up to World War II, and uh, things are probably going to get pretty um, fucked up. Let's hope <laughs> because, so, I mean. believe it or not, in history, Greece and Turkey didn't start conquering large chunks of land during World War II. That's I think not it's a crazy. thing that occurred. I think it's crazy. Also, um, resource-wise, wide our country is a little bit weird in that we have a ton of chromium, which is primarily used for making heavy tanks, which pretty much no one uses. They're awesome, though. Come on. They are I really cool. I mean, they're cool. fun. They're really cool to say that you have them, even yeah. if they're really not that practical. How much do I have? I have 344. Oh my god. Hold on, what is it? F7, there we go. There's yeah, so you've many. got a lot more chromium than me, but I've got a little more steel and I've got tungsten and aluminium. We're actually going to both be a little bit steel starved early on, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well, Which I mean, is unfortunate because you need steel for like so many things. Uh, I think I think Yugoslavia's got steel. It's only got four. <laughs> okay. Romania uh, has I can four. Take, uh, I can take Albania. They've got. Oh, never mind. They don't have any steel. You can't take. You can't take Albania. Then Italy will. Uh, will eat you. Oh right, right. Yeah. So that's actually what I'm a little worried about with like Yugoslavia because I don't remember. Does Italy team with Yugoslavia? No. Uh, right. Germany gets gets part of their territory. Right, right, right. And then Germany gets uh, gets Austria for free. They get Austria for free, and then they get the Sudeten land around Czech. Then they get the rest of Czechoslovakia, and then they can get Slovenia from the Yugoslavia. Yeah. Hungary's got a lot of aluminium, but... Ooh, that's yeah, a lot of aluminium. It is, but we've already got... Do we have a decent amount? I've got a decent amount. You can trade I have... With me. Oh, I got zero. That's a good amount. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know we're going we're gonna to get those factors, that. though. Well, hey, we could conquer... We could conquer <laughs> Bulgaria and get all two that they have. Oh, there we go. That's the plan. This, That's the goal. Oh, man, I'll, I'll take one. You take the other. We're golden. Done. Oh, no, they're all... They're both in Sofia. Oh. <laughs> so cruel. Yeah, gotta take the whole place, basically. I mean, I would assume they'll capitulate if you take the capital. It's not a big country. Oh, yeah, they'll, they're, they're done. Honestly, we, we take it. We'll get it in, like, a month at most. All right, so uh, the strategy we're thinking of early on, we're looking at national focus here. Um, one of us are going to have to get to ideological fanaticism to make our faction, because we want to make our own fascist faction, and it's looking like I'm probably going to be the one who does that, because yeah. the farther you go down the tree, the more you get things like militarism, which gives you a bigger recruitable population. Yeah. I can recruit 28,000 people. He can recruit about 100,000. I need the population more. <laughs> you so, really do, uh, yeah. So was it you're going... Uh, was it after you get to national focus, you're going into industrial effort? Yeah, I'm going to go industrial effort and move down the armament efforts to get crap tons of military factories and just start churning out yeah, infantry. Yeah. That's and what maybe I was a light tank too. or two. Like a few light tanks. We'll see. Oh, and um, I have actually played a little bit as Turkey before. It was when I was really new to the game, though, so I wasn't great. But what I did find is um, when we end up inevitably going to war with the Soviet Union at some point, oh, it was really easy for me to do a naval invasion on the Crimean Peninsula. And there's an airbase there, and that was a fantastic place to build up and station a lot of planes because, for whatever reason, the Soviet Union is horrifically bad at reconquering the Crimean Peninsula. Well, it's because they're so they terrified just of Germany. They suicide constantly. Yeah. They're terrible at to conquering that place. They're kind of terrible in general, honestly. They have so much land, but it's just so crap. I mean, look at yeah. the resources for it. There's like nothing. There's a lot of oil, just... but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all I did was send some marines in, and it was so easy to get naval supremacy over the Black Sea because, for whatever reason, uh, the for whatever reason the Soviet Union decides that it's way more important to put all of their 
uh, navy in the Baltic, I think, because <laughs> they had no competition for me. Like, as Turkey, who already doesn't have a great navy in the beginning. What are you talking about? Uh, My nine ships are amazing. Yeah, and I still was able to get naval dominance over the Black Sea. Damn. I barely built any more by the time I went to war with them. And on my front that I had um, on the east with um, with the Soviet Union over in Georgia, they didn't really put too many troops. For whatever reason, they didn't think I was much of a threat. And also, the infrastructure in that area is horrific. Yeah, there's a lot that needs to be done and a lot to build up. Holy crap. Yeah, you cannot station a big army there. Yeah, we're going to lose so much to defend. Yeah, and uh, doesn't Soviet Union go mass assault doctrine so they get they advantages? Like yeah, they, they do. Oh god, it's gonna so be they hell. don't get hurt. They don't get hurt nearly as much by bad supply, which is bad because I think doesn't Turkey in general have bad supply? We do, but the thing is, I'm gonna have 50 million heavy tanks, so I don't give a crap. I'm just gonna push through everybody. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Actually, looking at the supply chart here, for whatever reason, Greece has like double the supply of Turkey. Damn, really? At least on mainland. That's weird. It's Maybe it's because the provinces are more built up, perhaps. Whereas a lot, a lot of Turkey is kind of like this desolate wasteland. It's just This awful. is why I like fighting European wars, because yeah, I don't so need to worry about supply. Yeah. It's right. actually army versus army instead of, oh god, hold on, gotta leave 75% of my people back home. Oh. I hate that. Alright, so I should probably start getting my people in an yeah, army here. First moves. I'm gonna go political effort. Let's do it. Bam. Oh, yeah, yeah, political effort all the way. And uh, civilian factories start building military factories. Oh, Actually, yeah. how many civilian factories do I have? Four? Ugh, you're going to get one from... Oh, no, you're not. You're not going to get one from me because I actually don't need to trade anything. I'm going to get rid of my right. animal fighters and put everything on the infantry equipment. All right, I got one naval dockyard, and I have no oil. I'm not building, <laughs> so I might, I'm not building a thing. I yeah. might as well start on something. What should I start on? Light cruiser? Oh, uh, yeah, light cruiser's the best, isn't it? Yeah, I like, tend to focus a lot on light cruisers. It just really a, does seem like... They're so dumb. They're so good. Yeah, they're the best balance of, like, firepower and build time. It's they insane. seem like they're just the most effective. Yeah, it's insane how good they are. Okay, hold on. I gotta check, actually. What what are my divisions early on? Like, what's in my infantry? My infantry is uh, nine infantry with no support. Okay, that's kind of what I imagined. I think Turkey has less infantry in their... Uh, yeah, we're in not, their units, we're don't they? Uh, no, we got nine. We got the full nine, thank God. Okay. Thank God. All right. Research. Uh, I'm going to go uh, the the research time thing, basic machine tools. Oh, yeah, because apparently I don't, I don't understand how machines work. Yeah, it's 1936. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that a bit before <laughs> we started recording, but why is it Germany in 1936 does not yet have the technology it's, of it's, basic machining yeah, it's not even it's not even machining though it's tools like the picture is an actual wrench it's like no one's invented yeah. a wrench yet that is you have terrible. no oil right uh no i have no oil all right i'm not even gonna bother trading foil right now because it's just for my boats and i really don't care no i'm not even gonna build any honestly i don't need it i don't need it all right um i'm all ready to unpause on my end. oh i need oh train divisions crap i forgot to do that Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that, too. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, right, train some of those Oh, divisions. God, how much infantry can I even get away with oh, this? Oh, my God, what is your infantry equipment deficit? Oh, wow, uh, that is... Not horrible, actually. It's just under 1,000. 4,000. It's under 1,000. I expected worse. I am on four. That is insane. F you're on 4,000? Deficit 4,000. Oh, God, and please... Please tell me it's, like, out of date, like, rifle and knife. Please. No, thankfully, it's all weapons one. Thank God. Oh, Dude, if man. If it was, like, the World War one esque crap, that would have sucked so hard. I'm happy that we scrapped the idea of playing as uh, El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, I think that would have been a... Uh, God, what is El Salvador? Too boring? Even? Well, it's also why we scrapped uh, Iran and Iraq, because it's just too boring. Like, you just don't have anything to do. You just kind of, like, we... hope you'll win one day. Yeah, I decided to play as them a bit, and I basically had to sit on Fast Forward for two years. It's just like, boring, man. There's nothing to show. Yeah. Whereas uh, these two teams, like, they're not good, but they're better. they can become good. Yeah, when we play them anyway. Oh, I'm, yeah. Well, I'm ready to unpause. What, uh, what speed do uh, you want? Uh, anything. I could go fast if you want. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. You go fast. Gotta go fast. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Doesn't unpause? 
Oh, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, what's what are the first countries want to kick the ass of? So we wanna we wanna just push the poop in in Bulgaria and Romania. That's that's our All goal. Right. Because the further when we go east, it's not as important. But after around 19, late 1937, there's going to be a whole lot of guaranteeing. So if we can get as much resource-dense places as possible... Like, if you can get Yugoslavia, that would be amazing. But, Jesus, that'll be hard. Oh my god, it would love, I would love to, but uh, don't they tend to make friends pretty fast? No, not... Or, cause, cause make, enemies with the so or make enemies with the, uh, the German Reich. Well, they're, they're not aligned yet, so I mean, if we can take... I say we focus... Like, the moment we get uh, fascism, I say we just... Like, we straight away invade Bulgaria, Romania, and Yugoslavia if we can. And if we do it yeah. fast, we should that no one should be able to guarantee no allies will be called in, and that'll be it. And then we just can't conquer anything else because yeah. everyone will hate us. But that's okay. Yeah, well, we'll we'll end up skyrocketing the world tension, but by the time we're done, it won't really matter. Like, the advantage yeah. way outweighs. Like, I don't want that world tension going up because some other guy was taking land. I want the land. Yeah, right? Uh, so I'm I'm guessing, pretty safe bet. We will immediately when we get the political power, we go fascist demagogue. You know it. I love okay, I love that you're I asking thinking. me all these questions. I feel like an expert. It's great. Well, you play the game more than I. Have. I have three more achievements than you, though, what? which basically proves my value as a human. What it's because I picked up the I picked up the really easy ones you don't have yet, like um the the what is it the uh, Belgium one where you take over the Netherlands. Uh, oh, well, you know, it's that. not taking Netherlands. It's it's get fifty factories, and you can do that really easy just by taking Netherlands. And yeah. then there's another one where it's have Netherlands and take over uh, Luxembourg and Belgium, um, right? And Belgium, which is basically the same thing, but yeah. with the other team. Yeah. Uh, they're both very easy and very fast. And I forget what the other one. Oh, the other one I have is like I've gotten to construction level five, and you haven't. Like some really minor thing. I've never got to construction level. I just I just forget about it. I just forget. Yeah. seriously. Once the war starts, I'm just like in dust industry. Pfft, get out of here. Oh, by the time I'm at that point in the game, like I have something like over a hundred free civilian factories. Like where like I'm building infrastructure in remote parts of the world just because I feel like it. But think like, how happy those people are, though. Like, those people in, like, you know, desert are like, oh my god, he's building railroads. He's the best fascist dictator ever. I'd love oh, it. yeah, they must they must love their quality of life. Like, <laughs> everyone's got a job. Like, railroad workers must For soldier. be ecstatic. Like, you gotta wonder why Greece and Turkey have so many, um, like, air bases, considering we don't have planes. Well, I, I, so hey, 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 well, hang on a second. I have 54 planes. Wait, I don't know how to do math. Do you? I have 61 planes in the whole on country. My, uh, on my air tab, I have not a single plane researched, which is uh, depressing. <laughs> to say the least. Actually, uh, do I have any planes active? No, I, I literally have no planes, but I have air bases all over the place. <laughs> well, I think they actually have a reasonable though. capacity. Just get shit tons of fighters, man. That's all we need. When we go up against Germany and, and the Soviet Union, if we don't have fighters, oh my god, the the pain. So, is it safe to say that early on the only place we want our navy to be is the Black Sea? I mean, anywhere where bad people aren't is where we want them to be. We just need them to be safe and cry gently to themselves. Yeah. Well, we could take the Crimean Peninsula really far, well, as I as I know all too well. It is incredibly <laughs> easy to conquer, incredibly easy to hold, is worth a surprising amount of victory points, and it already 20, has an air base. It? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth 20, which is not bad uh, for such an easy place to take. The problem is, the, is that, that from Romania, the Soviet Union is one big river. Don't ask what the river is. So, like, trying yeah. to conquer into it is so painful. Oh, hello, Ryan. Here Lange. we go, political effort. No, I should pause uh, with you. And there collectivist. We there we go. And uh, where's fascist dem? Oh, right, he's up here. What's what's your fascist, fascist demagogue's name? Mine is Nihal Atsid. At <laughs> Nihal Atsis. There we go. Isn't Nihal like hello in Japanese? Nihal. Hel so uh, he hello. Thanks. Thanks. Hello. Yeah, mine is. Oh Jesus. Um, Demosythenes. Nicolaius. That's amazing. I gotta get, I, I'm having flashbacks to high school philosophy class with the Greek names and everything. I love philosophy. He sounds like, like a Spartan warrior. That's amazing. No one, no one I've ever met knows the answer to this. I don't know. I know, I, I don't know. I know you're gonna ask. I don't know. I know you're gonna ask. I have no idea. 
If you do the I lower one, ups. the only difference. I do higher ups as well. The only difference is that the lower one, it when it triggers, it's a it, uh, the government is up is like removed by the people. Whereas if the higher one, when it triggers and it changes to fascism, it's the government was like, yeah, okay, we'd be cool, we'd be fascist. I never know any actual th like gameplay difference. It's mostly just thematic. Yeah. But oh, right, I but I've had the event that that the military. Uh, supports fascism a lot more often with a top one, so I watch, I just always oh, go top yeah, one. Oh yeah, yeah. I, like, I do that because I am I imagine that's a good thing. I, yeah, I, mean, I don't know for sure. Five percent something something and extra something percent. I don't really know, but it's good. I like it. <laughs> it's yeah. a good it's a good number. Yeah, I, I'm ready to keep going. All right, let's um, do it. Well, my national unity is ninety. That's weird for me, just because the last two teams I played were France and <laughs> Soviet Union, which have France and and Soviet Union have horrific national unity. Why is yours so high? I'm 55. Good I, God. I don't know. It's 90. If France and Soviet Union had like 35 or something, it was really bad. Damn. Oh, by the way, this is on um, a non-historical, by the way. So look forward to some weird oh, shit. Okay. So we're going to... So Italy could team with them, because I know that's a thing I that they doubt can it. do. Oh, that's an early Spanish Civil War. Okay. Good God, that's not good Wow, for us. that is early. I've had it never happen before while playing as Spain. I don't no know if that's supposed to be a thing that happens. I played as Spain until 1939, waiting for the uh, revolt to happen, and it didn't. That's so weird. I made another file, and it happened like, I don't know, late 96? God damn. That's, that's not good for us, because that's an extra few months we can't conquer. Let's just hope right, they let, suck. Let's hope they suck. Let's take bets here. <laughs> Who do we think wins between Republican Spain and Nationalist? It feels like it's usually Nationalist. It's usually a Nationalist, but you know what? I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet the Communists. I mean, I'm, I like to bet, you know, the far, the outliers. So, go Communism. Let's go. I'm going to go with Nationalism entirely because I want the Fascists to I, win. Because I will they're less likely to have an issue with us. I will bet you one civilian factory later in the game. <laughs> I will trade you something <laughs> I don't need. All right. I bet you one infrastructure on an <laughs> island we'll never talk on. <laughs> oh, now, now we're just going to spend the whole time while we're waiting for our stuff to build up, just watching Spain, like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's going to be nerve-wracking. Can I send vo oh, we no, can't send I already volunteers? Checked. Yeah, can no, we? Damn. I already I was checked. We could go against each other sending so volunteers. Wait, wait what, do we, what do we need to do that? Do we just need... No, I'm not even... We need militarism. Yeah. What is the longest you've ever seen nationalist Spain, like the Civil War, go on for? Because I've, I've seen, seen it go it on till like, I've seen it go on until 1941, and that was pretty ridiculous. It got yeah, to the point where similar. they had a peace treaty where both were still alive on the same, like on the Iberian Peninsula. Yeah, <laughs> where... I've seen it go on a long time. It is stupid. Like, just I think it make was... up your mind. I think it was something like nationalist Spain owned almost everything except for Madrid and a little land around it. And then they just, like, white pieced out of the war. <laughs> like, I guess they were just exhausted with Ooh. it by that point. Crap. Minimize my All right, game. so Land Doctrine. Are we thinking superior firepower? Um, so, yeah, Land Doctrine is interesting. I'll pause for this one. So this is going to be interesting because I'm going to go tanks like mad, right? Oh, so you might go... Is it Mobile Warfare is good with that? Yeah, I'm considering going Mobile Warfare for tanks because I'm going to go them like crazy. But for you, you probably want to go, like, superior firepower, right? Superior firepower seems like just a really safe choice. It's the mathematically the, the strongest option, because as yeah. long as you make your. Do you know about the, the optimal infantry battalion, a uh, division? Um, as far as I'm aware, it's seven infantry, two artillery. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if you do that, you bait superior firepower. Like that's the only reason I'm winning the Mexico game I'm doing right now on my channel. It's oh, just yeah. because I'm 250 soft attack to their 70, and they just like. They put up as much defense as they like, and nothing matters because I can kill them all. And they have not nerfed this yet. It's crazy. It <laughs> yeah, really I, I've realized, like, I've played a few games with that composition now, and I've realized, like, my infantry is just leaps and bounds above the other country's infantry. It is um, ridiculous. And I, is it unwise to go for the Doctrine so early because the, the research time is, like, it's, it's really long. There might be other things like, like should I be getting a plane first? Because I have none. So, like, I did the uh, electro electronic engineering thing in the uh, engineering tech. I got that as well as the other the two industry techs you can do. Yeah, I've um, got that as well. Yeah. Um, the, third, you know, the next one after electronical until the uh, industry one opens up. 
I mean, you can go Doctrine, but it takes like a billion years to do. Maybe yeah. go Artillery, like Artillery 1, because I don't have that research. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I don't have that. I should absolutely yeah. do that. Okay, I've yeah. got that on the list now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that as well. Just because it's good for support artillery is really nice. Although, I might actually start doing tank research, so I might start getting the Great War tank, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. I wonder what would happen if, during the Spanish Civil War, you funded two democratic coups, one on each side, and before the Civil War Ooh, ended, both cool. coups happened. What would I don't happen? Think you like... can... I don't think you can fund both sides of the same war. I think you have to choose one. Uh, what if one player did one and one did the other? Like, and would the two democratic Spains that come out of it would be they be allies? Would they be the same country? I don't I know. Think they, I think they would divide. I almost want to make an own save just to do that. Holy we got to do that sometime. That's that actually that's, like. That sounds I, awesome. I, I have no idea I what would happen. Would stride that. Oh sweet! I got the fascist sympathies in military. Ah, you suck. That's such a good event. Yeah. I got it early too. Yeah, um, it was really but, early. I, uh, God, I really want to try that now. We got to try that sometime. We will, we will. I want to see what happens. Like, just go, like, two democratic countries, like, I don't know, go, uh, UK, no, UK can't send volunteer forces, can they? I don't remember. Oh, no, we don't want to send, we don't want to send, volu no, we have to be able to send volunteer forces, because otherwise they'll, like, yeah, otherwise... we want to keep them in the game. Yeah, they won't just die instantly. I mean, we could cheat. We could, uh, we could mod it so that they, uh, they have the ability to do so. We could. Be dirty oh, cheaters. Man. I just want to see what happens. I'm gonna up the speed like a that, bit. that idea is fascinating to me. Yeah, we'll we'll keep we'll keep that in the bank. We'll see what happens. Yeah. By the Ooh. way, played a little bit of lip service to it earlier, but uh, Alder Hill over in his channel has the Me <laughs> Make Mexico Great Again series where he's been doing the uh, what did they call the the achievement Montezuma's Revenge? So it's Revenge of Montezuma, yeah. Yeah, where uh, you have to restore the old border between Mexico and the United States, which basically means you got to conquer the United States as uh, Mexico, which is a feat considering Mexico is in the shitter when the game starts. Oh, it's awful. It's it has two research, two research slots by default. That's horrific. So not only is it behind on tech, it researches tech a third slower than any other, mi than most other minor nations. It is painful, man. Yeah, like uh, some other, like I know. Uh, I know that Iran also has only two research slots by default, which is awful. Quite a few neutral ones do, actually. Yeah, it it sucks. I think Bulgaria's got two as well. I've heard from yeah. fans that Bulgaria Bulgaria's a hard one to play because they're resource-starved, they're tiny, and their tech is really far behind. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Ugh. a Bulgarian fan who plays a lot of this game, and he says that Bulgaria's the worst to play. Which is, of course, a lie, because we all know San Salvador, or sorry, um, San Salvador is the capital. El Salvador has got to be worse, right? It's got to be the worst. No, no, you know what? There's been a, there was a YouTuber recently, he's just finished a world conquest of ta oh, using Tanu Tuva. I don't even know where that is. Exactly. So it's, um, look at the Soviet Union, look above Mongolia. Uh, oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of those uh, countries that are just they in modern day they're just eaten up by Mongolia. They just don't. Um, they just they're nothing. Just get out of here, man. <laughs> whoa, two chromium. Are they part of? Okay, they're part of the Soviet Union's faction at least. Exactly. Because if yeah. they're not part of the faction, then they are not gonna do well. Screwed, All right, I've got yeah. my nationalism focus going now. Me too. Me too. Oh baby. Soon All we'll right, be fascist. So... We we should be fascist by like if we're luck. It depends because it it can it can go from like twenty five percent to concentrated industry oh yes i it, it I, was, I just got that as well yeah okay does, so does anybody not industry, go it's concentrated industry is just better right Who like i can't dispersed yeah why like, would you isn't it the advantages are dispersed is it's able to uh switch from one thing to another faster yeah. but when are you doing it's that less really? damage from bombing like how often like way more of the game your factories are not being bombed and not being switched so yeah, right it's crazy it's way, the net gain of concentrated industry must be enormous by the end of the game they really need to do some like balancing and they just haven't done it yet yeah they need to do a payday too did and change the whole skill system because like there are a lot of things you just don't do in this yeah. game like i originally uh because the first team that i ever had a really long game with was italy and they start with let me check the name of it because i forget Oh, speaking of Italy, they start yeah, with right? Grand Battle uh, Plan Doctrine, and the more I look into the other ones, the more I realize Grand Battle Plan Doctrine doesn't seem all that good because it's based no, it's, around it's being it's based about around being slow and being World War One esque, which is so dumb. Yeah, 
Yeah, and like it's a cool idea, but in in practice, like it's you're really good at holding a line, which yeah. you know, yay, holding a holding a line's good, but oh, ideally no. in a war you want to take land, you know? No, Madrid, don't fall. Oh, God, that up. feels so weird whenever people talk about Madrid in games because my real name is Madrat. <laughs> <laughs> Because that must be I, so confusing. Yeah, I'm I'm named after uh, you know Sir Mordred, bastard son of King Arthur, uh, and the the original pronunciation is Madrot, which is what I'm named after. People know it as Mordred, so like Madrid, the the country. Hence the, the YouTube country. name. Like it. The country. The yeah. uh, Madrid, the uh, city, is like a mixture of Madrot and Mordred. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. Yeah, I think it's gonna punished. fall. No, I'm gonna it's win not. this. Don't I'm gonna it. win this bet. I don't no, know. My well, civilian there's a factory. fight going on at it. I mean, we don't know. Maybe they're like kicking ass in the fight. I yeah. don't know. It's like it's like Stalingrad all over again. Come on, someone send some. Yeah. Is anyone helping them? Okay. Actually, uh, that's cool. There's there's a national focus focus for Soviet Union. Ooh, political thing. Uh, there's a there's a national focus for Soviet Union, that is just um, makes a shitload of land forts around Moscow. Yeah, I remember that one. What are you going to choose as your second uh, PP purchase? I went military um, theorist because I figure I need to start getting those army points early. Nice. I'm going to go uh, the uh, military factory speed because I, I think I'll, I think I don't need the XP too much just yet. We'll see. Mm, that's also a good idea. I'm a little bit it stuck takes, in military the factories. Problem is, mili uh, like mathematically speaking, 10% extra construction speed for 150 PP. It's so bad, but yeah. I don't, I'm not playing optimally here. We're going Turkey Greece because we feel like it. Oh, Madrid's gone. I lose. Yeah, I think I'm um, winning this one. Ah, uh, you got it. You win. Done. Oh, what do I want to research next? Um, Jack. support weapons one maybe. I'm gonna get fighter one because I want to start like getting oh, planes. Oh yeah. What am I thinking? I absolutely do need planes. It's yeah, gonna take a half a year to get my first plane, and it's like a fucking interwar fighter. Yeah. It's horrific. But once we get Romania and Bulgaria and Yugoslavia, we're gonna have a lot of factories. Oh yeah, that's see that's the thing with like with construction. Obviously, it's got some value to it. And you do get something out of it in the long term, but. If you're playing as like a fascist country, if you're being a warmonger, like you probably should, you're getting most of your factories through conquest anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I I'm mean, just building second, as many as I can, but... The second you eat up one major nation, you have more factories than you know what to do with. I mean, I get to points, like, with military factories, I get to points where once I've taken two major countries, like, I'm making doubles of the same request just to stockpile more because there's nothing else I can do, but I might as well just not waste it. Yeah. What if a billion of my people die? What if I do some terrifyingly stupid move and get my 100 plus army sectioned off and killed somehow? Somehow I do the dumbest thing ever. Entirely possible. Then <laughs> um, I'm going to probably want a lot of backup equipment for that. Um, so I've, I've got my nationalism focus now. Me too. I've got industrial effort. I realize now I've only made like a few recruitments and I'm already on only 92,000 population. Hey, what recruitment policy do you start on? I start on limited conscription. Limited conscription and I am at zero manpower already. Oh, Oof. wow. Yeah, you need that militarism. I need it bad. Like I'm gunning for it as fast as I can. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to go the industrial effort. I'm just going to try and like... Get as many military factories as possible, because I get I get three free ones through the uh, the NFs, so that helps a lot. I wish you could get more. Like Britain gets like six or something. It's crazy. I love watching my manpower. Where every once in a while, like a hundred people pop up and they just immediately get eaten up. <laughs> it's like as soon as people turn eighteen, conscripted, get in the army. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, I do wonder what limited conscription means. Like, exactly what is the limitation of this? I think it's like 18 to 25. Something like that? Yeah, and then extensive is 18 to 35. Oh, factor sympathies, sympathies in the military. Oh, no, that's not the cool event. I was wrong. That's just That just means the coup can happen. There's another event yeah. that's like, the military's like, yo, this is awesome. We're going to fight really well. Oh, yeah, and do you agree with me on this? Absolutely never say yes to a civil war request. 
All right, you need to you need to like read the the guide I wrote for the the um, was it one the other one empire one? It li I think I said like three times in all caps. Do not do the civil war. You will lose they everything. Go so poorly. Oh like, man, I, just wait. Yeah. I've I've done them, and by the time I've won, which I've lost them before too, because sometimes yeah. they just get better people. Um, but the times I've won them, I look at the end date and I'm like. I should have just waited. Like just, I, yeah, I just this huge wait. I like lost half my shit. Like it's just not worth it. No, it's just not worth the time. Um, well, I got not. artillery. I'm thinking of just jumping straight into interwar artillery. Yeah, men start because they, since they since they they uh they fixed the problem. The art the 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 first artillery was crap. Uh, yeah, it, wasn't that a thing where I had like five defense originally? It was two. It was freaking oh two. Oh my god! I Doesn't know. Doesn't have like fifteen? Yeah. It was oh bullshit. Like it was no, there was no point to building it. You just got wrecked. Okay. But Two now it's fine. Defense is unusable. Yeah, start. Yeah, start making them, and you can start making your cool infantry battalions. I'm not. A, I'm not actually yeah. going to do that until late game because I'm just going to be making tanks like crazy. So as soon as I get the military stuff and, and as soon as I catch up on infantry equipment, because I am at a 10k deficit right now. Yeah. Seriously. I'm telling. I'm happy that my country starts with tungsten. Because I can get on artillery right away without without oh, having to trade. Oh, that's good. That's, no, this is that's actually a really good point. So we've we've done a good combination. You be the artillery mm -hmm. person with a kick-ass already for, uh, infantry, and I'll be the tank guy who just kind of rolls up and kills everybody. Yeah. I'll keep like I'll keep like a light tank force for encircling, and then like a heavy tank for. I'm 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 aiming to put one heavy tank in every infantry division, because I think that just sounds really awesome. So. We're just past 30 minutes. We're roughly at a good time to end this, but before we do, I actually have a question for you, because I know I'll forget if I wait till the next episode. Yeah. Um, is uh, light tank divisions. I tend to build them, uh, was it uh, six light tanks and then four um, motorized motorized, yep. uh, motorized or like mechanized, whatever I have at the time. Fascist assault division forms. Oh, change in popularity. Popularity goes up, uh, and recruitable population goes up. Thank you that's, so much. That's the event. Yeah, that's the event. Oh my god! It's so it is, good. It only gave me like 10k, but right now Where that the fuck is, is my camera. Th that is enormous right now for my country. I just realized my camera disappeared. What the shit? Oh well. <laughs> that's weird. I guess I guess you're the worst. Right. I think so I'm the worst. I, that's how I build my light tank divisions. Yeah, I kinda, that's perfect. I was just kind of winging it for for medium tank divisions, though. When I decided to give them a try, I basically just did the same thing, both medium tanks instead, medium tank division. Um, I would definitely recommend that. I think that's honestly the best thing you can do. Uh, just I same thing, but medium instead of light. Yeah, you just replace it exactly. Um, okay, that's I, what I, I did. I think they only. It depends how much they take up. You want to aim for twenty total. Um, Division, uh, uh, what's it called? Space? S space size. <laughs> Some size. Yeah. Width, about division width. So Depth, something like that. Height. <laughs> I don't know. We've been, we, I don't know. We've just pitched like 50 words. Let me just check combat width. There okay. it is. <laughs> okay, well, we danced around almost being right for a while there. Almost. Uh, and for and for a super heavy tank division, you just do like 18 super heavy tanks, right? Yeah, you just do like 400 heavy tanks and you just slowly climb to victory. Basically, you just motorize a house and nail a bunch of aluminium siding to it, and you recommission a bunch of old Ottoman, like, great cannons to point at the windows <laughs> of the house. That's your super heavy tank. That's my secret. Militarism! Yes! Oh, thank you! What do you All want right. now? What Military do you want now? Youth. I'm going towards mil- Okay, I'm at 300,000. Oh my population. god, that's nice. That's- That is like 50 times what I started with. I know, that's it's like that. 5%, so... Oh my god. Oh, coup d'etat! Yeah! Are you joking? I'm fascist! I did it! Oh, uh, I'm not fascist. Lame. Alright, let's 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 pause the game here. I think we're at a good ending point. That's a good ending what point. Alright, so, I just went fascist. Uh, Greece has become... What's my name now? National Union of Greece. Oh yeah? Oh, that's cool. Um, and, uh... Alright, so you're, you're probably... Huh? I don't know if you're close to being fascist. Your fascism support's actually still not that great. It's 24. What is yours? Uh, let's check. 40. Actually, you know what? Oh. That's not too high either, but... You suck. <laughs> I, I think I just got... I, honestly, I think I got lucky on that one. Ah. Um, Because I've waited much longer before. I mean, it's not even 1937. God damn. <laughs> it's still October. It's like mid-October. In fact, this this game right now is... Uh, 
you know, the better part of a hundred years away from the release state of Civilization VI. But the day's <laughs> almost right. Um, right, so on the next episode, uh, I'm probably going to start justifying a war before too long. I mean, I might as well start early, right? Yeah, but do you think we should wait till we can do it at the same time, or...? You know what? We probably should wait for the same time because if yeah. my war goes too slowly, guarantees might start dropping left and right if we don't kind of do one big push. Yeah. All right. And are we thinking annexing these countries? Or oh, yeah. Are we gonna Total annex. Them? Total annex. Okay. Oh, yeah. Every part. All right. On the next episode, um, it's likely that Turkey is going to flip to fascism and we're going to start Hopefully. justifying some wars. Until next time, have a nice day.